I've washed your hands yeah. now, if I were you. This is about so. Like this don't involve him lending you money. You never know what he'll want in return. Yeah, sorry about this, Mr. Tinney, and I'll give you a go in a bit. Yeah. 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 You're a scum, you are. Just keep your voice down. If Cat weren't involved, I'd tell the old square what you did. She shouldn't kept on that shit. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Kept your filthy little secret between yourself and your precious girlfriend. You keep Sam out of this. Too late. She didn't seem too pleased to be reminded what a low life she's getting itched to. Listen, I'm sorry for what happened. Sorry? Oh, that's all right then. You're sorry. That should make everything better. Look, this has been dealt with, yeah? It's over. You don't care, do you? Well, I'm warning you, you better watch your back. You can't do something like that and expect me just to forget about it. If someone had done that to your mum, what would you have done? Come on, I want to know! But you got a taste for it now, haven't you? Abusing women. I wonder how long before you start on Sam. Sam knows I'd never lay a finger on her. Are you sure about that? Yeah, because even after everything that's happened, she trusts me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to see if I can resurrect that deal. You did your best to muck up for me. Why don't you go and sell some more pop socks? Yet. Andy! I'm sorry, she just barred past. It's all right, close the door behind you. Well, we'd said everything that had to be said. I've hardly started. You've got two minutes. It's going to take a lot longer than that. I'm going to be on your case for the rest of your life. Oh, I can't wait. You really are scum, aren't you? There's not many people get away with calling me that in my own office. Scum for what you did to Kat, for nearly breaking her and Alfie up. Scum because you think you can mess with other people's lives and walk away like nothing's ever happened. Kat agreed to sleep with me. Yeah? If I'm scum, what does that make her? Ugh! You have your leaks, sweetheart. Ask that boyfriend of yours, he'll tell you. Now, for the last time, the very last time, you get out of my office and get on with your life. Sorry. Yes, Sorry? Sorry, what's happened? I really thought he was going to hurt me, Dennis. Who? Andy. Andy? Why would he hit you? He's evil. He thinks he can just take what he wants. He came onto you, right? Maybe it's best forgotten, yeah. I'll just put it behind me. Just tell me what happened. Did he threaten you? Please don't do anything, Dennis. Just wait for me in the Vic. To you. Don't mess me about. I'll just drop his motor off. He could be anywhere. Walk the last 150 yards behind me. Child with Jesus glory. Jesus glory. Getting a better baby. Hey, you can't come in here. Don't worry, he's expecting me. What do you want? To give you this? the big mistake! No, you made the mistake when you hit Zoe! Listen, I never hit her, all right? Turn you down, did she? Dennis, just listen to me, all right? I've never laid a finger on her, I swear! So you're calling her a liar? That's not her style! I've been taken for a mug and yours, but she has got you right where she wants you! She's laying into me, all right? Fist flying, I was fending her off. I didn't mean to hurt her. You know, hitting women ain't my style any more than it's yours, but accidents happen, right? You should know. Why would Zoe tell me different? Who knows? She's a slater. Those women are a law unto themselves. 
I mean, maybe she liked the idea of sweaty men fighting over. What's your mouth? Easy. I'm not having a go at her, all right? In fact, I've got to admire her. The way she stitched us both up. Couple of tough guys like us. No, Zoe, straight up, she doesn't play games. Well, maybe you don't know her. Why did she go for you? I told you, I don't know. You're lying. It's none of your business! No one's made it my business! Truth is, you came on to her, right? Don't be thick, Dennis. Anyway, she's not my type. <laughs> Something that happened between me and Kat, all right? What happened? No. no. I'm not buying that. Cat's crazy about Alfie. She'd never cheat on him. She's a slater, isn't she? So why is Zoe so upset then, eh? No, there's more to it than this. What did you do to Cat? Nothing. What did you do to Nothing her? Nothing she didn't agree to, all right? Now drop it! She just couldn't resist the old hunter magic, is that it? You forced her, didn't you? I said, drop it, Dennis. How could you do that? It wasn't like that. She came to me. She practically begged me. Oh, come off it. It was a business deal. That's all. She owed me money. She couldn't pay it. So she paid for it in her own unique way. Yeah, you raped her. No, no. I told you it was a business deal. Oh, come on. Dennis. What, are you telling me if it was offered to you on a plate, you'd turn it down? I wouldn't do what you've done. Oh, what's that halo? Don't strangle you. It's not a good fit. What's happened to you, eh? You used to have some self-respect. Look, I know Cat hurt you. Well, after jilting me at the old team and running off with a jumped out barman! Yeah, I can't say it was the best day of my life. I think I'm due a bit of payback, don't you? Payback? That's the sort of thing Dalton would have come out with. You're better than that. Weaker than that, you mean? Yeah, well, maybe in the past people were beginning to think I'm a little man. <laughs> I was going to feel like Billy Mitchell. So that's what this is about, status, yeah? You feeling the big man making your mark? Because that's not how it looks to me. It looks to me like it's still in there, eating away. <sighs> Afterwards, I thought I'd feel elated, satisfied. Forbidden fruit in that. And ashes in my mouth, that's how I felt. Thing is, you want something that bad, you just can't stop yourself. Can't you? Come on, Dennis. You telling me you don't think about Sharon? Ever? It's over. I'm with Zoe now. I'm with Sam. Don't stop me thinking. You really loved her, didn't you? You want to know one of life's big secrets, Dennis? Don't fall in love. It makes you weak. Makes you put your defences down so someone can come in and kick you where it hurts. I know you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I did love Kat. But she nearly broke me and I'm never going to let a woman do that to me again. I feel sorry for you, mate. <laughs> Why? Ah, I've got money, I'm back on my feet, I've got a blonde on my arm. Who you don't love. What is this? You've been watching their musicals again, eh? Huh? She's fun. She's good looking, solvent. I'm happy with what I've got. And that's good enough, is it? Oh, come on, Dennis. Huh? Who are you kidding? Hey, pussyfooting around, pretending you're happy with your little Slater girl. Hey, come on, I'm not knocking her. Good looking girl on your arm in your bed. Helps keep out the cold. She's not a coat, Andy. It's Sharon you want. Everyone knows it. Even Zoe must know it. Rubbish. I know where you're at, Dennis. You're just passing time. Tell me you don't think about Sharon when you're in bed with Zoe. See? Seven, um, eating away, just like me. And do what you like. It ain't going away. I'm bored of this. Dennis. I'll see you around. Uh, hello, then uh, we changed their minds. Is the game still on? What brought on the change of art then, boys? Oh, you know, just fancy playing a man's game, like you say. Hello, boys. How's my motor? Correct it yet? What? Well, you said you thought there was something wrong with the time, and have you cracked it yet? Oh, no, no. Not that. No, no, not yet. No, I haven't had the chance. Uh, first thing tomorrow. 
Remind me, it's, a, it's an A-side and a king. See that? Gentlemen, the game's five card draw poker, the ante is five pounds. I warn you, I play hard. Is there any other way? No, as long as you know. No problem. Sam. Hello, sweetheart. No, I can't talk now. I'm in the middle of a game. I won't be too late. Yeah, all right, you take it easy. Yeah? Sam checking up on you? No, I just wanted to talk about my suit for the wedding. But I'll turn the ringer off, out of courtesy to the table. That's a good thing about poker. Any history between the players, anything that's gone on before we'll gets left outside. Yeah, we check our weapons at the door. Just like Dodge City, eh? Yeah, very nice. Only the best for our guests. Yeah, make us feel better when we're losing. Yeah, yeah. Well, somebody has to. Not me. I always win, in the end. Lucky at cards, unlucky in love. No such thing. It's just an itch that needs scratching from time to time. Are you dealing or what? Oh, yeah, sorry. How many? Uh, two. I mean, it's folded. One. Andy? I'm happy with what I've got, Tom. We're waiting. Uh, yeah, um, I've got a 20. Hello? Hello? You're 20. And up 50 more. Gary? Huh? Something wrong with you here? Oh, no, uh, I'll fold. Me too. Not your night then, is it? So, that's just me and you. Toe to toe. 50 to cop. Yeah, the thing is, uh, I'm a bit short. Well, I could lend you 50 if uh, that's all right. Your funeral. Right, well, uh, there's your 50, and uh, I'll raise you a 100. With what? Well, I thought maybe an IOU. <laughs> you really don't want to end up owing me money, Minty. Well, maybe I won't. Maybe you'll end up owing me money. All right. Write it down. I owe you £100. Must be sitting on something decent, considering your biggest bet so far has been a 20. Yes. Hang on. I don't like losing. He took that fair on square. E easy, Andy. Easy! Who are you to tell me to take it easy? You know what happened to the last bloke who took that much off me? No. His legs are now purely ornamental. I've got one thing to say to you. You are a much better player than I thought you were. <laughs> Your faces! You really think I was going to kneecap you over a piddling little sum like that? <laughs> Who's for a top up? Right, you guys, you ready? Yeah, go and go, babe. I'll see you later. How is the darling girl? Cooking herself a bit of supper. Oh, Sam the domestic goddess. That's a new one on me. Well, there's a lot you don't know about, Sam. If it's getting too intense for you, you could always leave. I'm stopping. What's he doing here? He's playing cards just like the rest of us. Just a reminder whose house this is. Listen, there's no need to get in the state, yeah? When will you be done playing? Well, it could be a while, yeah. But I'll make up for lost time, I promise. Oi, put her down. Just give me a minute. Never get tired of taking your money. <laughs> you watch, boys can't half pick him. You got your hands full there, Dennis. Yep. Mm. Tell you what, you don't scare easy either. That's why I like it. You're 200. And up five. Oh. Confident. I have good reason to be. Lagging? No stamina? Maybe Zoe's sapping his strength. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> That's my move. I'll have a scotch on a rock seeing as Pat's holding the fort for me. Look after the pub, Trace. I'm needed upstairs, Don. Nice, any having staff you can rely on. Up for the 340. Ooh, bad idea. You'll be throwing your money away. Ain't gonna win. How'd you work that out? I know how to spot a loser. Oh, it must be near to the turf, because the real winners are those who usually stay the distance. I'm safe on this one. I've been studying the form. Yeah. 
Andy. Very funny. This isn't how it looks, Andy. No, Look, why don't you just have a drink? Hey, hey, no, hold on a minute. Big bully boys with a bog rush. There's always one around here. What did you say? Just ignore him, he's out of here. Yeah, he didn't mean I it. I said... Wait him! <laughs> he bleeds on that upholstery, he pays for it. What is it with you, eh? All I said was that Dalt was a good one, man. It's a different bird you're meant to have in every town, mate. Not a fake parent. Don't pretend you don't know what he's going through. Three days, three nights. I know, I bought you a clean shirt. Sat in that little grey room, your mum tiny, choking up what was left of her lungs. You must have held her hand for hours. Yeah, well, you know, someone's dying in your face, least you can do is hold the man, isn't it? She didn't visit me mum once, Bev. You know, not even those last three days. She didn't come and sit with us once. Always was more ornament than you, your ex. Are you first here? Yeah. <laughs> you should have said. She had a younger sister, you know. Oh, that's history, isn't it? I've moved on. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Dalton's face. I tell you. I was young. <laughs> oh, you were gullible, son. Well, I've learned. See, it's true though, isn't it? I mean, you make your bed, you've got to lie in it. But, you know, when you're young, you know, you're young, you, you decide you don't like your bed, you just go and buy yourself another one, you know? Or, new duvet, pillow. No, you've lost me now. You see, I've got, I've got ten years on you, and the decisions that I make now, choices I make now, see, I'm going to have to live with those forever, aren't I? Live with her, you mean, with her? Yeah, yeah, and live, live with her, yeah. Yeah, live with Sam. You want to be my best man? No. Well, you know, better not, so we and Sharon would have a fit. Yeah. Yeah, it's <clears throat> a shame, though, isn't it, because I can't move on if no one will come with me, can I? Mm. Oh, leave it. <sighs> Sandy. Like I said, leave it. Just give me one minute. Oh, don't be long. Andy. Sam's getting last minute jitters. She wants some reassurances. Andy? You're not going in that, are you? Yeah, why not? Well, you're the groom. It's your special day, too. Why don't you come with me? You sure? Yeah, of course. Look, you come with me. Marcus can go in your car with them. Sam can go in the main car with Jane. And Sal, she's squeezing in with Sonia and Martin. All right, whatever you say. <laughs> well, then that's much better, isn't it? Come with me. Thanks for stepping in. Oh, it was no problem. I'm sure it'll go like clockwork this time. Reverend Tom filled me in. Don't worry, she'll be here. First, I'm required to ask anyone present who knows a reason why these persons may not lawfully marry to declare it now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there's going to be a slight delay, so if you'd like to refill your glasses, um, we'll be cutting the cake very shortly. Hey. I'm about to do that. Um, uh, if I could just have a minute, uh, the bride and groom are about to go, but first Andy would like to say a few words. <laughs> yeah, um, I just want to say thanks for everyone for coming, you know, it means a lot to us, so each and every one of you turned up today. 
And I'll make sure when we get back that I thank you all in turn for your generous gifts. So, uh, you know, stay as long as you want. Eat yourself stupid, get drunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, enjoy the cake. Listen, I'm sorry about these speeches, mate. Oh, don't worry about it. All a pack of lies anyway. Still want to read it. 